Thank you for choosing Historian 2022. Hi, I'm Swati. I'm an information developer at GE Digital. I'm going to show you how to install the Historian server. Let's begin. You'll need a machine with the Windows server. On the Historian installer, select Install Historian Server. The welcome page appears. Select Next. Accept the license agreement. If needed, change the installation drive or leave the default value. If needed, change the location of the data directory or leave the default value. This folder will contain log files, buffer files, and archive files. Select the checkbox if you want to use web-based clients. You will need it to use Configuration Hub, the Web Admin Console, REST APIs, and Trend Client. And proxy authentication, formerly known as UAA, is required for user authentication. You can, however, choose to skip this step now and configure the historian server with proxy authentication later using the uaconfiguration.exe file located here. If you want to use an existing proxy authentication server, provide the name of that machine here. If you do not have a proxy authentication server, provide the name of the machine on which you are going to install web-based clients. If the machine uses a fully qualified domain name, provide the same. By default, it takes the local machine details. If you want to change the default port used by proxy authentication, provide the value here. Make a note of this value. You will need it while installing web-based clients. Remember that if you are installing a distributed or middle server, you must provide the same proxy authentication details as the primary server. Select this checkbox if you want to use historian security groups. They add an additional layer of security to your historian system. If you want to install a standalone historian system, select historian single server. This type of system is suitable for a small scale historian setup. If you want to install a horizontally scalable historian system, which contains multiple historian servers, select historian mirror primary server. You can then add machines and distributed or mirror servers to this system. If you have already installed the primary server and you now want to add distributed or mirror nodes to it, select historian distributed or mirror node. Select next, select install. The installation will be done in a few minutes. If you are asked to reboot your system, select yes. During the historian server installation, did you select this checkbox to create security groups? If yes, you must create a user and grant access. Create a local Windows user with this format and add the user to the IH security admins group. Or you can create proxy authentication users and map their security groups. Depending on whether the user will use local or domain security groups, select the appropriate option in historian administrator. You can now install other historian components as needed. You can also set up the Configuration Hub plugin for historian. For instructions, see the related videos. Bye!